Hey, those are my purple banditos, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Glaze. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we defeated the champion of the Johto region, Chris, and with that, became the champions of both the Donut and the Johto regions. Now, we have officially arrived in the Gran's lab. I know, the professor's lab who likes us to call her Gran, and she offered us three Pokemon. So now we have an Oshawa, a Tepig, and a Snivy that we need to add to our team. Well, I guess you could say need to add because she's kind of making us do it. So before we can make our way to the Rancor region, I'm going to go ahead and add one of these Pokemon to our team. As I told you guys, we have a Tepig, we have a Snivy, and we have an Oshawa. Once again, thank you guys for your tips and your comments. A lot of you guys left me, you know, suggestions on what Pokemon I should add to our team. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add the Snivy just for the fact that I feel like we've added every other kind of starter so far we haven't really gone after the grass starters yet so let's go ahead and give the snivy a quick little nickname and i'm just gonna go ahead and call this snivy after you know a, a, i guess you could say a character in harry potter we're gonna call it snape so with that guys snape has been transferred to the pc now it's your turn sonny i'll choose this one okay so henry obtained the oshawott and finally you need one more thing we obtained a rancor ticket and Henry obtained a Rancor ticket. Those tickets will allow you to sail on the ferries to each of our islands. Each time you defeat one of our gym leaders, they will punch your card, allowing you to go to the next island. Once you get four punches, you can travel to Rain Isle and take on the champion. But for right now, you can only travel to Olkin and Nitro Isles. Thank you, youngsters, for making an old lady happy. It's been so long since I've had trainers come through here. Well, good luck! <laughs> At least the old lady was able to give us these tickets. We'll be able to take the ferry to Oaken Isle now. I'll go on ahead and meet you there. See you soon. So with that, guys, we have gone ahead and added the little Snape, the little Snivy to our team. But I'm actually going to go ahead and mix up our teams quite a bit. So I'll be back with you guys with a little bit of a surprise. So get ready in a couple seconds. So I asked you guys to help me pick out a team for the Rancor region, and I got a lot of really good suggestions. Now I went ahead, and as you guys will already be able to tell, I've gone ahead and mixed up our teams. Now I've gone ahead and added a couple Pokemon from our first region, which was the Donut region, and then a couple Pokemon from our second region, which was the Johto region. So now we have Yami, Zuko Jr., and Hedwig from Johto, and we have brought back Cranky, Gilligan, and Kuza from the Tunin region. So welcome back these three Pokemon, some old team members of ours, which I think will be a great addition now another thing is that i've separated them sort of into two teams so i'm going to go ahead and nickname this team led by yami into team moon and you guys can go ahead and take a guess on the team led by lanky and what it will be called as well so i've gone ahead and just separated them into teams that i think will be very very helpful i think having cranky gilligan and kuza both here at the beginning of this adventure will be really really good and i also think sending over rsp and chompy will be a lot of help for the other Pokemon as well. So with that, guys, let's go ahead and make our way out of here. I know that it's been a lot to take in today, so let's go ahead and get off of Reefin Isle and try to make our way to the next aisle, because now we officially have the Rancor tickets, so we're able to make our way to pretty much wherever we want. Now, as you guys were able to hear as well, we have to make our way through four gyms, and after that, we will be able to take on the champion. So there's only four gyms here in the Rancor region, so it's actually going to be a much faster region to be able to make our way through that's what i finally realized is that we are going to have to just use the pokemon we have instead of building another team because you never know the way things are going in this region are you kidding me you've come to raycourt too why couldn't you have just gone to sino or something i've been looking for some new members for my team here how about you meet them in a battle let's go here we go rodri versus shell so let's go ahead and take on shell this is our first battle here in the Rancor region, ladies and gentlemen. She's going to open up with a Meganium. We're going to send out Yami. Now, we are back in business because if you guys remember, we have a couple new Pokemon that have been added to our team. So, we're going to go ahead and mix it up yet again. We're going to go ahead and send out Gilligan, which is somebody, I guess you could say, we haven't seen in quite a bit. We haven't seen Gilligan in quite a, a while. So, we're going to try to just get all these Pokemon back in here and hope that they're able to, you know... Keep some of that magic going that they had back in the Tunid region. Let's go for the Ice Beam. One of the good things about having Gilligan back 
I gotta tell you guys is the fact that it also brings with it a really amazing move set. The one time we had to go up against a Swampert, we might have had a simple time thanks to Rover. But honestly, guys, most Swamperts are really, really tough to take on. And a mother fudger saying that, the Meganium went ahead and took me down. I'm just going to go ahead and bring out Zuko Jr. then. And then Zuko Jr. should be able to clean this up. Now, this is the cool part about all this, is the fact that we'll be able to mix up so many different Pokemon. It's really cool to be able to split them into two different teams now. So now we have a little bit of Team Moon here. And then, you know, we'll go ahead and have what our other team will be called. Which I'll sure I'll be surprising with you guys soon enough. I thought that we could use this team to take on the first two regions. And then we could go ahead and switch out to the other team to take on the other two gyms. Not regions, gyms. So then we could, you know, go ahead and do it that way. Which I think will be a lot of fun. Especially here in Rancor. Which I don't really know what there is going on in rancor this is one of those regions where honestly i gotta tell you guys i don't know anything about this place rancor i know is separated into different aisles from what you guys have told me but i don't know if the gyms are going to be like the orange islands gyms where you know there's little challenges or those sorts of things or if it's just going to be kind of regular gyms with regular trainers and those sorts of things so these are things that i'm going to slowly have to start figuring out before we fully dive into rancor with that though we hit a crit and guard chomp has gone down gotta tell you guys i am all aboard that train i am all happy for that next up is going to be a kingdra it's also kind of cool to have yami and kuza on the same team i thought that would be really cool to see because I never really have the chance to do that. To use more than one evolution at once. So it's cool getting the chance to see that as well. It's also nice to see kind of two Kuzas come together. Because if you guys remember, before we had our Yami, it was nicknamed Kuza. So it's kind of cool to see that, you know, they come together after all that. With that though, oh my goodness. I forgot that going into these regions are going to be a little bit tough too just for the fact that the pokemon are still going to be really strong i think that's one of the cool reasons that it's awesome to bring in all these old pokemon because now we can just go ahead and just train them back up have really good movesets on them and we're pretty much as good to go to crush any of these other crazy high level pokemon that we're going up against because we actually have been going up against a lot of high level pokemon Ooh, a tyranitar oh who should we send out against the tyranitar i almost want to send out hedwig i feel like everybody has had a good chance going up against this thing though ah uh, dang i'm just gonna go ahead and keep out cranky for now i think i'm gonna go ahead and just revive some of our pokemon because i did realize that you know shell was this difficult once in a while i guess it's one of those things that you sort of forget because we haven't battled this rival in so long. It has been so fun so far though, guys. I gotta tell you, all the champions and everything we've been taking on has been an absolute blast. Who would have thought that Pokemon Glaze would have so much, you know, difference in... It would just stand out so much compared to other Pokemon games. And I gotta tell you, that's something that I've really been enjoying myself. This Tyranitar is really trying to knock us out, huh? I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can do something here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and switch out then. We'll just bring in Gilligan. I think Gilligan should be able to handle the Tyranitar. Oh, you know what? I say that, but Gilligan should 100% be able to handle this Tyranitar. If we could just go ahead, tank some of this out. Oh my goodness. So this battle is actually turning out to be a really tough one. And I was here, here I was hoping that we would actually get the chance to explore a little bit of this region today. But what can I say? We are going to have battles coming out of nowhere a majority of the time and now we should be able to take down this tyranitar i mean come on we have a really really strong swampert guys so why not put a little bit of this into action all right let's see what we got here ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna go for the surf and hopefully that will take down this tyranitar if not we still have you know other other moves a bunch of other move sets that could help us out are you kidding me shell okay okay She's going to taunt us. I like that, too. I like how she's taunting us. That's really what you want to do. You want to taunt us, Shell. I'm going to go ahead and just go for a superpower. And that should definitely one-hit KO her. That's one of those moves that you kind of hold on. You, you hold back from using that often because of how strong it is. But then once you actually get the chance to throw it out there, you're just like, yeah, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go ahead and just, you know what, screw it, throw out the move out there. With that, though, Tyranitar has gone down. Nice to see you back on the team, Gilligan. I gotta tell you, definitely missed you, missed your moves. So it's always cool to see that again. With that, we gained a bunch of XP. 
Next up will be an Absol. And we're just going to go ahead and wrap up this battle with Gilligan. It feels good to have Gilligan back on the team again. I remember the donut region now. I remember how we made our way through that place and it was pretty much just going for a bunch of earthquakes and ice beams and everything of the sort and hoping that we were able to get a couple ko's and with that oh my goodness that actually did quite a bit i was just kind of messing around with the ice beam there but it sort of worked in our favor okay let's go ahead and take down this absol then as i really 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 do want to explore whatever is going to be left of this area and there we go shell's last full restore has gone ahead and come out or at least i say it's going to be her last full restore because you never know at this point with how much shell has going on and with that ladies and gentlemen there we go the absolute has gone down and here we go we'll have to see what the last pokemon is going to be it's going to be a skarmory i am not going to switch out we're going to have gilligan finish up this battle and then we are going to be good to continue on and see what else we can explore that's actually the cool thing about this though is that i suppose that the gyms are probably gonna have pokemon around level 80 to 85 so we're going to be really really exploring these gyms because the pokemon are gonna be so much higher level that it's definitely going to be almost like a brand new adventure going into such high level gyms because i feel like that's something that we never really get the chance to see all right let's go ahead and take down the skarmory i'm gonna go for the ice beam and with that ladies and gentlemen we have took down the skarmory we have took down shell and hopefully we are ready to progress through here we gained a bunch of xp and we defeated pokemon trainer shell Am I ever going to beat you? We got 2800 for winning, and I don't know about that, Shell. Who would have thought that kid I met outside of Sparky's gym would end up being my most hated rival? I'm going to Nitro Isle and challenging their gym. Move it! All right, see you later, Shell. You know, Shell definitely has got a lot meaner since the beginning of this adventure. So if anything, we know which way Shell evolved because she has got really, really mean. I'm going to go ahead and put Cranky up in front, though, and let's keep on going through this place, then. It looks like... This is going to be a bit of fun with a couple battles, so let's get this going. All right, let's keep on going through here. It looks like we're going to have another battle, so let's take them on. A lot of tr tough trainers up here in this mountain. I got to tell you guys, so far, it has been pretty difficult. So let's just keep it going. Went ahead and defeated that guy. He was actually really, really tough. But it looks like we made it to a Pokemon Center. So let's go ahead and make our way inside of this place. Hey, what is going on, Nurse Joy? I gotta tell you, it's pretty hot out there. But not as hot as in here. You know what I'm saying, Nurse Joy? You're keeping this place nice and warm. You know what I'm saying, Nurse? You don't know what... I okay. Well, with that, guys, we healed up our Pokemon. It looks like we can pick up a couple items here. And that might be one of the best things that we can actually do. So I'm going to go ahead and just stock up on a couple things. Because, hey, guys, you know what? We actually ended up using a bunch of items in the Johto Regions Elite Four. So it would be very nice if we could definitely stock up on a couple of these before making our way any further so with that thank you 
to all of you people here in the Pokemon Center. And we're going to continue going through Olken Isle because it has been a pretty good time so far. And it looks like this guy is going to be ready to battle. I'm going to give Gilligan another shot. Hopefully, Gilligan will be able to step it up this time. Okay, so apparently we're going to have to make our way inside of this mountain. So we're going to have to make our way inside of Mount Tritorch. What the fudge is Mount Tritorch, guys? Okay, so apparently Mount Tritorch is where we will continue next time. Because I'm really not too sure what's going to be in there. But I expect it to be quite troublesome. I expect it to be one of those really difficult times where we end up going up against a bunch of trainers. Probably that might outlevel us at this point. So who knows? Next time we will continue from this point, guys. So make sure you give this video a like. Make sure you guys leave me some tips and some comments on what's coming up. As it looks like we still have quite a bit ahead of us here in the Rancor region. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next episode here with Team Moon. Goodbye.